Would you like to instantly increase the Ethernet speed on your smart TV from this to this? Let me show you how. Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Thiel, and as part of my job reviewing TVs, I usually have to connect these televisions to the internet to test Netflix streaming, for example. I recently upgraded my business broadband to 1 gigabit per second at an eye-watering price of above 400 pounds per month. But for some reason, I am only getting a connection speed of less than 100 megabits per second through the internet port on these smart TVs. It turns out that most, if not all TV manufacturers are only putting 10 100 Ethernet ports on their televisions these days, which is capped at 100 megabits per second. Of course, you can use Wi Fi to bypass this speed limitation, but Wi Fi connections are less stable and more prone to interference from other electronic devices nearby, not to mention can be affected by how far your TV is to your wireless router. Now, some of you may ask, Vincent, why do you need more than 100 megabits per second when the maximum bit rate of Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Apple TV+, Plus currently doesn't exceed 40 megabits per second? An excellent question, but some of you may be streaming movies from your NAS or Plex, and many 4K HDR movies contain peaks exceeding 100 megabits per second, which may lead to buffering or frame drops. Furthermore, Sony's new Bravia Core streaming service recommends a minimum internet speed of 115 megabits per second for the highest quality, which is beyond the 100 megabits per second cap of the inbuilt internet ports on Sony televisions. With this in mind, I purchased this Cable Matters USB to Ethernet adapter for £12, which lets you connect your Ethernet cable to the USB port on the television, in theory allowing for faster internet speeds. Let me show you the results on a Sony A90J and an LG C1 OLED. This is the Google TV interface on the Sony A90J Master Series OLED. And to measure the internet speed, I normally go into the Tools section under the Apps Categories submenu, and then you can choose to install one of these apps. And I think you know the most popular ones are going to be this speed test Wi-Fi analyzer and also this internet speed test fiber test. And I've installed both apps, but I prefer to use this one because even though it has ads, it has a really pretty UI with a speedometer interface. And I'm a sucker for all things beautiful. And I have connected this Sony A90J Master Series OLED to my business broadband router using a LAN cable through the Ethernet port on the TV itself. So if I click on Start Test, this will measure the Internet speed that we can obtain through the Ethernet port on this Sony A90J Master Series OLED. And we'll just wait a while for the test to complete. But hopefully you can see that the download speed will never exceed 100 megabits per second because the LAN port or Ethernet port on most consumer TVs these days are capped to 100 megabits per second. And you can see that the upload speed doesn't exceed 100 megabits per second as well. So after this test has been completed, what I'm going to do is to plug the Cable Matters USB to Ethernet adapter into one of the USB ports by the side and then plug the Ethernet cable into this adapter. And you may see a message on your TV connected to Internet after the plug and play process has been completed. Oh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that, you know, if you want the plug and play process to occur seamlessly, you need to go into your network and internet section and disable Wi-Fi. Only then the plug and play process will happen correctly. So if we get out from here and click on start again. So just as a reminder, this is the Ethernet cable from my business broadband router going through the USB to Ethernet adapter from Cable Matters going into one of the USB ports on this Sony A90J Master Series OLED TV. And you can see immediately that you get a significant boost in terms of the download speed. It is 340 megabits per second. 
and then in terms of the upload speed it is also capped at around 240 megabits per second and this is because of the limitations of the USB 2.0 ports that I've plugged the USB to Ethernet adapter into but it just so happens that this Sony A90J Master Series OLED actually offers a USB 3.0 port as well so I'll take out the USB to Ethernet adapter and then plug it into the dedicated USB 3.0 port on the Sony TV and what I'm going to do is to click on start again okay you can see that it blasts through 500 megabits per second it's actually sitting at around 546 megabits per second in terms of the download speed and then in terms of the upload speed you know it's going even higher above 900 megabits per second which is fairly close to the one gigabit per second line that i actually paid for and i don't know why the download speed is always you know less than the upload speed even though we are using the internet connection maybe Vinny is downloading some stuff which he refuses to tell me what it is next let's check out an LG C1 this video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN with more and more people staying home these days Netflix is continuing to cap the bitrate of certain shows especially in Europe which will cause the picture to look softer with more compression artifacts such as macro blocking, pixelation and noise in dark scenes. What if there's a way to access Netflix servers in another country where streaming bitrate is not capped? This is where a VPN comes in. Surfshark allows you to stream content from another country without needing you to be physically there, so you can watch Netflix in higher bitrates and better picture quality. You can also get more content that's not available in your region perhaps the US Netflix library which contains more movie titles. For less than the price of a Big Mac per month, you can use Surfshark on as many devices as you want in your household, all at the same time. There's 24-7 live customer support, a 30-day money-back guarantee, and even instructions on how to set up the VPN on your LG or Samsung smart TV. And for a limited time only, if you use promo code HDTVTEST, you'll get 83% off and 3 extra months free. So sign up today and give Surfshark a try. I'll put the link in the YouTube description below. Thanks again for your support. On the LG C1, we're going to use the Netflix app to check the internet connection speed. So I have hooked up this LG C1 to my business broadband router through the Ethernet port on the TV itself. So if I go into the general submenu, go into network, you can see that you know I have a wired Ethernet connection from the TV to the router and we shall check the internet speed as well. So if you go into get help and then click on check your network, <laughs> it will run a connection speed test to Netflix servers. And you can see that the connection speed is 93.54 megabits per second, which is under 100 megabits per second because of the limitation of the LAN port on the TV itself. It is only 100 megabits per second. It is not a gigabit port. So what we're going to do now is to use the USB to Ethernet adapter to see if there's any improvement. But before that, you need to go into the network submenu again to disable the Wi-Fi, otherwise the automatic plug and play discovery process wouldn't work with the USB adapter. So please bear with me for a while while I take out the Ethernet cable and plug in the adapter to one of the USB ports and then plug the cable into the adapter. And if we go into the network submenu on the TV itself, you will see that none of these are showing as connected, but it is actually indeed connected. So let's say if I click on Reload Netflix, you can see that 
clearly there is internet connection going on through the USB to Ethernet adapter. And then if we go in here and check the network again, you can see that the connection speed has more than tripled to above 300 megabits per second. Now you have to understand that this is lower than what we saw on the Sony OLED because all the USB ports on this LG C1 is only USB 2.0. So this is basically the cap. Whereas you know on the Sony OLED, there is at least one USB 3.0 port, which allows for higher bandwidth. Now, not every USB to Ethernet adapter will work on every television due to different chipsets used. Because I have a million other TV reviews and comparison videos to do, I only had time to test the most popular working one, namely this Cable Matters USB to Ethernet adapter which worked well on LG and Sony televisions. And no, I am not sponsored by Cable Matters, they did not send this review sample to me. I actually bought this adapter myself and did this video from the good of my heart to help out you guys. Affiliate link is in the YouTube description below. For more TV tips and tricks, please click here for our playlist and I will see you in the next video. Bye.